Getting married can be an exciting and expensive time for any couple. Now, a relatively new wedding trend is making some people think about how they can avoid breaking the bank for a ceremony. THV 11's Frederick Price shows us how. It's been my lifelong dream to be a wife. Walking down the aisle is one of the most momentous events in one's life, but May Leaky Harvey is finding out it can be stressful, especially with inflation challenges. There's a lot of venues around here, especially in Little Rock, that are charging six, seven, maybe eight grand. Initially, she had hopes of pulling off a big and extravagant wedding. I wanted to have maybe two to three hundred people um, and have a lot of food. Now with the price of food, flowers, and even wedding dresses up, she has no option but to pick a more realistic plan for her special day. Well, I've had to kind of dial back on the amount of guests I'm bringing in. I had to choose a different venue that was actually out of town. It's something similar to a micro wedding where the couples have a quick ceremony with a smaller guest list. We've probably done half a dozen um, smaller events like that. Carol Dupriest with the venue at Oakdale tells me inflation continues to have an impact on her business. Getting flowers in from other other states, other countries is increasing the prices tremendously. And she says people are combating these higher than usual prices by organizing these micro weddings. I do think it was a lot to do with inflation. They would have a small intimate um, ceremony and reception, and then a year later on their first anniversary, they would have the big party. Although Harvey is still making tough decisions about how her wedding will turn out, she remains optimistic and has some advice for any brides to be. Don't be discouraged. Just try to figure out work, what works best for you and, you know, make it fun. Be happy. And Little Rock, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. And Dupree at the venue says that people are now scheduling their weddings further out. Instead of six to nine months in advance, people are now looking at 12 to 18 months. This gives people a chance to put down a deposit a year ahead and pay the rest the next year.